Hi everybody, in today's video I'm showing you a really quick and easy strawberry compote that's perfect for fillings in cupcakes and cakes. Coming right up. All right friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes and in today's tutorial I'm just going to show you a really simple way to make strawberry compote and the great thing about this is you can put it in a container and put it in your freezer for like six to eight weeks and pull it out anytime you're baking and wanting an extra filling, an extra flavor component in your cupcakes or cakes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, um, you can either blend your strawberries until they're nice and blended or you can just do like a rough chop. Um, I like the bigger chunks of strawberry in my filling, but just do whatever you you know whatever sounds good to you you can get it nice and smooth and mashed up a little bit more you can just I'll just chop them into small little pieces they'll kind of break down a little bit as you're cooking this and I like to do this um, when I see my strawberries then they're starting to go on the side of spoiling I that's when I like to make this compote because I don't like food to go to waste I like to use everything that I can so that's, that was the stage of these strawberries, is they were just starting to, in the next day or two, they weren't gonna be usable anymore. So that's when I like to make my strawberry compote, because then you preserve it and you can use it for a long, long time. You can refrigerate it for a week or two, or you can put it right in your freezer. I will say the blender is faster, but then you have extra dishes to rinse. Just depends on what you want to do. I didn't want to do extra dishes today. Plus, like I said, I like the chunks of strawberry in there. So I'm just gonna kind of roughly measure this out because for about every cup of strawberries, you're going to want two to three tablespoons of sugar. So it looks like there's a cup right there. So it looks like I have about, I'm gonna have a, end up having about a cup and a half of cut up strawberries. Get every last piece in there. You don't have to measure it. You can kind of just eyeball it. But I just wanted to show you for reference. So like I said, for about every cup, you're gonna add a couple tablespoons of sugar. So I'm gonna add three, just under three tablespoons of sugar. And then just to brighten it up, I'm gonna give it a squeeze of lemon. You don't need a lot, just a couple squeezes. It's just gonna brighten up the flavor quite a bit. All right, now I'm just going to give this a quick stir and then I'm going to put this over on my stove top on medium to medium high. I'm gonna stir it very often because I don't want it to burn. And then as soon as it starts to bubble, I'm gonna turn it down to low and boil it for five to seven minutes until it starts to thicken. Now let's go over here. Okay, just watch it carefully. I have it on like medium high heat. You have a lot of sugar in there, so it will burn, so you need to watch it really carefully. You don't need to stir completely constantly, but just, just watch it. It's starting to get a little bubbly on the sides. Give it a stir. to a full boil. Okay, once we get to this stage, we just wanna turn it to like medium low. And we're just gonna let that kind of reduce down and thicken up a little bit for, I don't know, four or five more minutes. Okay, you'll see at this point, it's reduced down quite a bit and it's starting to thicken. Now what I'm going to do at this end stage, I'm gonna get some cornstarch and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of cornstarch and then I'm gonna get a tablespoon of hot water and just mix that together. It doesn't even have to be hot water. We just have to kind of dissolve the cornstarch. We're making a slurry as a thickener. 
And I'm just gonna kind of mix and dissolve that together. And then this is just gonna go right at the end. We're just gonna put that in. And this will thicken this right up. Let it cook like 30 more seconds and it is going to be done. See how that thickens right up. Making that cornstarch slurry. That is just, and then as it cools, it will thicken even a little bit more. That's perfect. Okay, so here we have our delicious, perfect strawberry compote. Now, if you're organized and plan ahead, um, you'll know to make this ahead of time to give it enough time to cool down to work with. You don't wanna work with it while it's hot. Um, I often forget, so what I will do at this point, if I wanna cool it quickly, um, you can either spread it on a cookie sheet. The more surface area you have, the thinner it is, um, the quicker it'll cool down. However, there's not a whole lot in this pan, and the pan is metal, so it'll cool quicker. So I'm just gonna stick this in the freezer for like 30 minutes, and then all I will do is I will put it in some Tupperware and stick it in the freezer, and it's good for at least six to eight weeks, possibly longer. I've never had it go longer than that because I'm always using it, so. Okay, my compote is nice and chilled and it's either ready to use right away or you can store it, which is what I'm going to do. So I just have a small Tupperware here. And I'm going to scrape it into there. And then I'm just gonna keep this, I'm gonna actually use it this week, so I'm gonna keep it in my fridge. But if you want to save it for later, if you have a lot of strawberries you need to use up and you have a whole bunch, just stick it in your freezer and it will be good for at least six to eight weeks. And then when you're ready to use it, either take it out of your freezer a few hours in advance, or if you forget, like I always do, I just pop it in my microwave on the defrost and just let it defrost and keep checking it and once it's soft then I'll just I'll use it and then I can just refreeze it again. So it's just it's so easy to make big batches ahead of time and it's so delicious with cupcakes, vanilla cupcakes, lemon cupcakes and a cake filling is just is really really tasty. So, I hope you try this out. I hope you like it as much as I do. And if you want to see more recipes like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Bye.